hello and welcome back to my channel this is daydream days and today we are playing part 7.1 of let's play the sims 2 river blossom hills this is a collaboration i'm doing with nerdit so if you haven't checked out her channel yet you should definitely do so i totally recommend her and her content is awesome i will leave a link in the description and yeah as always the cards at the end of the video so without further ado we are playing the seven family if you didn't know my numbering of the episodes start with the order of the family which family we are playing and then point which episode we are playing with them so yeah i'm thinking to change that numbering at some point but as of right now it's my og numbering of my sims episodes so yeah we are playing the Artemis and their name is, it just seems so so powerful to me just because of the ottoman empire anyways i just really wanted to play the ottomans they are the first one of the bin families that we have placed for playing so they really intrigued me because they're a huge family and our little lady samantha over here is about to give birth to twins there is a rumor that those twins will create trouble in the game like it being corrupted and stuff unfortunate stuff like that and yeah but as far as i know if you have a patched version of the game or the ultimate collection as i have there shouldn't be any troubles with that so the description of the family large families have a lot of love to share but also require a lot of work especially with more children on the way yeah we're going to have twins will grandma's help be enough to keep this family strong well let's see so as as we will be able to see here she already has a baby bump and she's really really cute and i'm betting she will give birth in this episode because i have a one day pregnancy mod which yeah it's a lot more realistic to have a one day pregnancy compared to the whole lifespan of the sims because otherwise i'm tempted to think that they're pregnant for three years out of their lives so yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I prefer shorter pregnancies, at least for The Sims 2. When I play The Sims 3, I usually go on massive lifespans. I think it's... No, it's the long one. And three days out of their lives kind of makes sense. But three days out of these Sims lives just way too much <laughs> okay i've been rambling a lot about sims pregnancies i'm a weirdo <laughs> so nerdit has actually remodeled this house and i'm super duper proud of it i really like it and as i think i have mentioned before in one of my earliest videos is that i extremely love this furniture that i am betting it came with the sims 2 seasons and it just looks so cute and i i would really love to have this kind of furniture that is kind of old and classic and not really it doesn't really look like it's about to break it's just these effects at the edges of it enough with the furniture ramble we have a little bit of a living space in here and i love it and let's see the baby nursery is so adorable and a little bedroom in here the parents bedroom i assume this is david's and what's her name charlotte's bedroom they share a bedroom which is not really ideal for a teenage boy usually my teenagers are like children like they they share almost the same interests but I like to give them a little bit more privacy, you know, because of hormones and stuff. I would imagine they want to have a separate room, but I don't want to complain way too much about that because it's not a big deal and the parents' bedroom looks so adorable. I don't know if this 
little square. I, I forgot I, I watched the speed build video kind of a long time ago and I don't remember if this square was something that Nerdit has put in or... Oh, she forgot to paint the <laughs> exterior of... Oh no, I think she ran off out of money. That That is inconvenient. <laughs> and with the baby two babies on the way this is going to be really interesting because they need a lot of money and i don't know where they will put the cribs <laughs> this is a little bit of a math question in here <laughs> geometry even <laughs> this is just nuts i would put them in the hallway but it feels really bad to put especially newborn children in the hallway <laughs> i don't know it it just feels bad. It feels bad on all levels. Maybe I could put two cribs in here. And one crib in here. And move the changing table in here. I don't know. I don't know, but enough with the ramble. It's time to get to know the family. So we have Dora Automus. <laughs> Dora the Explorer. She looks kind of sad. She... I don't know. It looks weird to see... Ponytails, pigtails, no, no, it's ponytails on an elder. It's just weird. <laughs> it looks a little bit sad, to be honest, but yeah, that is just me. And she is a subs. <laughs> she's a substitute teacher, and she's a Scorpio. So, Dora is at her happy. Dora is at her happiest when caring for others and is very grateful to have so many wonderful children and grandchildren with more on the way. Yay! <laughs> Can you smell my enthusiasm? I actually am super enthusiastic but also extremely scared for it because yeah, we don't have the funds. <laughs> To take care of so many children. And she is also a family of aspiration. She wants a lot of things. She wants David to be an overachiever. She wants him to get a A-plus report card. Be best friends with David. And Charlotte gets an A-plus report card. So I don't know which one to lock in. It depends on which will will turn out to be the most studious one because I have a once based gameplay so I don't do anything that my sims don't want to do so that would depend a lot on that so she's a fatty she's a little bit chubby chubby chubster she is attracted to beard and of course gray hair because she's an elder it would be so messed up to be attracted to people much younger than her and she doesn't like people to <laughs> wear hair coloring on their precious hair oh my god the baby bump i'm getting distracted <laughs> okay so her memories she just met a bunch of people because of course i have seen her roaming around on other lots of the neighborhood and yeah, she met Mystery Sim, had her very first kiss with Mystery Sim. Yeah, basic stuff like that, fell in love, did woohoo with Mystery Sim. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I guess it's something that happens to pre-made elders. Okay, and then she had Peter with the Mystery Sim, I assume. I'm curious about the family tree now. I'm, I know I'm all over the place. So yeah, she she said she said Peter with mystery sim, so she hasn't had any legit love. Anyways, so she has Peter, Peter got engaged, got married, and then she had the new grandchild and the Charla. The Charla. Uh, the grandchild Charla and Tommy and then moved in in this wonderful new un painted outside house <laughs> okay yeah and then of course she met a lot of new sims oh and she met daisy that's super duper adorable and then she saw the first snow because of course it's winter 
<sighs> so next up, Peter Artemis. I could already see problems with him because he's a romance sim. And I can see him already rolling wishes because she... She... <laughs> because he wants to cheat on his wife and that's really really messed up because she's also pregnant she's like right here with the whole family and he's like way on the other side of the sim world just thinking about way different things than he should so we have in his memories he met Samantha he made best friends with her she had very first kiss with her which is so adorable and then he fell in love with her and all that jazz he got engaged married had very first woohoo I oh, did woohoo he did not have his very first woohoo with her it seems like but it doesn't show in his memories that he did woohoo with anybody else I don't know, is that intentional? Is that supposed to give me a little bit of a dilemma here? I don't know. So, he had David and he taught David his skills, which means he's a great dad, after all. But still, he's not the best dad and he's nowhere near the best dad. Because of the, you know, the romance part. Maybe romance is his secret addiction his secret drug so david grew up well he had charla and then david grew up well again and had tommy he has all these positive memories and then he moved in and they are supposed to be super duper happy in river blossom hills and that's jump oh um He's a sports columnist, he's in the journalism career it looks like, and he has a bunch of skills that he needs to improve on, and he also wants to gain a skill point, which means he wants to be a breadwinner as well. I think I could give him the family aspiration as secondary, because, I don't know, he seems to be a great dad. At least he was to his first son. It doesn't seem like he did anything for Sharla or Tommy. So I'm not going to get too extreme into doing something with them. So David, Sharla, and yeah, he's the only child to Dora. Peter loves sports. Playing them, watching them, writing about them. Will he get to see his dream of having a child being a star athlete or will they all choose different paths oh so that he, that is why he is a sports columnist but the sad thing is that if he gets advanced in his career he may get to write about something else and maybe he wouldn't want that <laughs> he wants to woohoo he wants yeah hopefully he will woohoo with his wife but I don't know, she looks a little bit too pregnant for that. <laughs> At least from a realism standpoint. <laughs> so he's attracted to blonde hair, which is good because his wife has blonde hair as well. And on these, because yeah, maybe he's, he's a little bit obsessed with woohoo. So I don't know, maybe he's taking it really, really hard. That his wife is in her last trimester and she cannot woohoo. <laughs> So he's thinking about, you know, flirting with other women and stuff like that. The man inside him is kind of... Uh... Anyways, so he hates facial hair, which he should. <laughs> There's no women with facial hair. Or maybe, maybe he that a hint he could be by? I don't know. I'm thinking way too much. So I'm jumping right onto Samantha and... Yeah, and <laughs> she is turned on by fatness, which is weird, and also fitness. How are you turned on by two so different things? It's so weird, and then turn off vampirism. Okay, <laughs> that is so weird, Samantha. You are so weird, and... It's been a challenge to take care of so many children, and Samantha is very grateful to have such a caring mother... Oops, I just knocked my microphone. Such a caring mother-in-law. Even with Dora's help, will Samantha be able to handle two more? Well, we will see. We will see. With me, I guess it would be really easy because 
I don't know. I'm I'm really good at taking care of children in The Sims 2. I don't know why and I also enjoy it. But I don't want to jinx it because there are already one child and a toddler and two babies coming. So yeah, I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> so she's neither fit or fat. And yeah, she has a bunch of wishes for her older child, her oldest. And yeah, she wants to advance in a skill, which is good because she needs a cleaning skill point to advance from elementary school teacher. And that is so sweet. I, I'm thinking that's so suiting for Samantha. And she is also family aspiration sim. And what are her memories? Basic memories, met Peter, all of the stuff with Peter and woohoo, and then babies, and then ooh, she was the one that taught Charlotte to do all her skills, so maybe it's just a gender thing that dad takes care of his boys and mom takes care of her daughters <laughs> in you know, education wise and yeah, raising their children. But yeah, uh, let's jump to the first son, David Odomus. And he is an Aquarius. Is he an Aquarius? Yes, he is. Just like, no, his mom is a Cancer and his dad is also an Aquarius. He's just like his dad with his sign so David tries to help out as much as he can will his dreams of becoming a rock star get in the way of his helping at home or will he find other distractions well I'm sure he will because he's a teenager he it looks like he's about I don't know 16 years old I, I don't know he he may find some other distractions maybe a little bit of a lady I don't know maybe in the future because like I said my teenagers are normally like children, so his attractions are cologne and fitness and he doesn't like glasses and his memories include learning his toddler skills, growing up well and moving in, which is so nice as always, I mean not as always, as any other teenager, he wants gadgets and meeting new people and making friends, being popular, you know, the... The basic teenager stuff and oh, he's also a popularity aspiration sim. And Samantha, let's see. So she's an Aries and Sharla has the advantage of being practically invisible right now. Will she grow tired of the lack of attention by the time she reaches her terrible teens? That is a little bit of a hint, but... I'm thinking she's kind of family oriented because she wants to talk to Tommy. She wants to play with Tommy, which I think is so adorbs. And yeah, she's almost fit. That's interesting. Um, So her memories are just basic toddler skills growing up well and moving in. And the little, little baby Tommy... Oh, he's lacking some social and he wants to learn all his toddler skills, which means he's a little bit neglected, but not really because he just aged up into a toddler. And then he only has a memory of moving in. And what else? Does he have a bio? He's a cancer. And right now, being the. Right now, being the littlest. Artemis, Tommy gets all the attention. How will he handle it when the twins are born? I don't know, maybe not that well because he seems to be really, really young and he still needs a lot of attention. So that is just kind of inconvenient. But yeah, let's just start playing with them because I would just waste it so much time just showing you everything. So I don't know what to do. I think that Dora is supposed to go to work, so, uh, from, oh, she's from 3pm, 
I don't know how he can be a substitute teacher and work the afternoons. <laughs> and elementary school teacher, Samantha, she needs to go to work. Uh, but she's pregnant. Is that a good idea? She has vacation days. She she should stay home and maybe work on her cleaning skills. I don't know. He he's not very close of being an overachiever or anything. He's a C student, but Sharla is an A report card, so I'm thinking to lock this one in. Because it seems like Sharla is the good student. And Peter. Uh, can he walk to work? No, he goes from 1pm. So I will let Samantha go to work. <laughs> because we really need the money. So, oh. Uh oh, uh oh. She's about to give birth. Oh my god! And everybody is here outside while well, she is about to give birth. Oh no! Giving birth on the street right next to the trash can! Oh my god, I'm really hoping it's twins! Oh my god! Oh my god! There's two new babies on the way! Oh! Possibly? Oh my god! Oh my god, and it's a girl! And she's about to give birth to another baby. Oh, and there's one more! <gasps> what is it? It's another girl! OMG, we have girls! All in the cold winter because they seem like the very very normal family Savannah and Michaela I just feel like that those two names just really go so well together okay so I'm going to pause the game right here because as everything was happening I was just so confused I was all over the place and now it is the next day while I'm editing the video I just realized that there might be an S theme going on with the girl's names. The mom is named Samantha and then she named her first daughter Sharla and then stupidly I chose Savannah as the first twin's name so now Michaela is the only girl in this household having a name that doesn't start with S. So I'm thinking that it could either be integrated into the story as her being the black ship or rebelling or whatever, but at the same time, I would really like to hear you guys' opinions. I already picked out two other names that I can change these girls' names to in Simpi, and that is Sarah and Sadie. So if you guys think that it would be a good idea to keep the names, I'm going to keep them. And if not, I'm going to change them because I'm really indecisive on this matter and I'm extremely happy either way. Hey. Welcome to the family, beautiful babies. Okay, so can we access the rewards now? Oh, he doesn't have money for it. I mean, lifetime happiness for those. Let's go potty train Tommy because he needs to go. Nobody has enough lifetime happiness. I'm actually going to give her those two because children needs just go so fast down. Oh, it's so adorable. 
can we walk to work right after we gave birth? Because we need money. And Grandma is going to help with the children. And you want to make a friend and buy a lemonade stand. Oh, she doesn't have interactions with the babies and she's left out into the snow. So can you please help a little bit and, I don't know, cuddle me, Kayla. And... I don't know, I need to make some adjustments in a moment here. So I'm going to put in crib. Can you serve some... Pancakes for breakfast? Did you learn anything, I'm hoping? Okay, so... Let's... Do something with this nursery. Okay, so he had to downsize a little bit on his crib. I just got this really, really cheap one that is definitely not a toddler's crib. Like, he barely fits in there, and I don't think this is really safe, but it's it is what it is. So we have you will you will put Michaela in here. I just gave them green bedding, just because... Okay, this is going to be really crazy. And we will put the other baby, Savannah, in here. I just gave them green cribs, because they are kind of unigender, and at the same time... I don't know, this room is kind of boy style and we don't have time, not time, we don't have money to renovate it, so... Yeah, we, we work with what we have. Oh, ooh, and he has a passion for science. Good for you, Tommy. So we already gave them bottles, which is alright. I usually like to breastfeed my children, but... At the same time, there is no realistic way we can do that for the twins. Especially because we lack money so much and... Ooh. Kaylin. Is she a teenager? No, I don't think so. But there's plenty of room for Peter to cheat if he wants to. But yeah, like I said, there, there is no way we can breastfeed these children because Samantha will be gone to work so so many times that it's it's just it's just not and we also have one toddler <laughs> so this is going to be really crazy put in crib Savannah oh no I'm just going to put little Tommy in his parents' room, and I'm thinking storytelling-wise, it could be a really good idea, especially because he enjoyed being the youngest in the center of attention, and now maybe he is a little bit confused when the twins came, and they want to give him a little bit more, you know, cuddle time, attention, so he doesn't feel neglected, so... Yeah, that's why he sleeps with his parents now. So, now we are going to give David a little bit of downtime. I mean, he was supposed to walk to school. Go to school, kids! I forgot about sending these kids to school. No pancakes! Walk to school! Oh, and he's already off to work as well. And it looks like it's just Granny with the children. Ah, poor Dora. Uh, let's put away the leftovers. As single plates. Oh no. So Samantha really wants to impress the administration with her students and the school district science fair looks like the perfect opportunity two of her students projects really stand out harry monroe's model that hypno hypoten hypotens the result of hot cocoa brood ah but samantha can only send one student who should she send this is going to get her fired. I don't want that. 
Ooh, Catherine is here! Greet everyone! So, David is back from school. And he's a C minus now. He's a record store clerk. I forgot to show that. And he has work immediately now. Oh, this is crazy. This is craziness. This is craziness. Let's hold Michaela, cuddle her, and put her in the crib. And we have a diaper to change. And Denise Jacquet, we could, we could chat with her a little bit. Okay, this is this is really crazy. I'm thinking to just end this part here because this is super duper crazy. It's already been almost 45 minutes of recording, and ooh, we have a pond in the backyard. That is so amazing. And oh no, we have so. Svenna, Michaela, uh, oh no, and she needs to go to work. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We need to call in a babysitter right in this moment. <sighs> well, I'm about to have a heart attack. I, I think I bragged way too early. This is craziness and I think I'm about to die. So, let's call service. Change diaper, Michaela. Nanny, we need a nanny right now. Uh, track schedule. Oh, and David is off to work. Oh my god. Who took my child? Catherine? talk to the baby I want to talk to our guests as well so I'm thinking that works both ways and she just stepped over her grandson oh no and our guests are living oh the baby doesn't like it uh, can we please talk chat a little bit and leave the baby on the floor because yay. Ooh, and... Ooh, did she get an A-plus report card? Oh no, she's an A-minus. And she needs to... She wants to ask for homework help. Maybe she could ask her mom to do that. But I'm thinking that is going to be the next episode because right now we have recorded a lot. And I would like to thank you guys so much for watching and... Yeah, do something. Don't forget to do something with this video and subscribe if you enjoy my content. And I will see you guys in the next episode, hopefully very, very soon. And yeah, <laughs> have a really nice day or night wherever you are in the world. Bye, guys. Hi, hi, hi.